Is it going? We're live. Okay, wait, I need a minute. She needs a minute. <laughs> There's something in your teeth. No. <sighs> Cozy. No poses? Right there. I'll go right here. Can I lean too? No, it's too much leaning. I want to lean. It's okay, I'll stand. Okay. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Bree. And I'm Andrew. And we've had a lot of people ask how we meal prep and what we eat every day, so we're hoping that this video will answer all of those questions. That's right, and Bree right now is going to get into uh, taking some food out, because that's the first thing we do always. And I'm going to just go over quickly a lot of the reasons that I hear people don't meal prep. The first one being that uh, it takes a long time. For the two of us, it takes usually about three hours a week, and that keeps us fed for a full seven days. Uh, the next one is that it is expensive to eat healthy. Uh, you can't go really go out for lunch anywhere and get a burger and fries for less than 15 bucks. Our average meal cost is between five to maybe $10 a meal. And the last and the biggest objection is that the food gets boring. Uh, you're already watching this video, which probably means that you want to get better at making your food. So you've already done the thing that will solve that problem of food being boring. You're taking the time to learn how to make your food look and taste great. And with that, we're just gonna kind of show you how we do this, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna show you our food. Uh, these are Argentinian wild shrimp. They are raw, they are detailed and deveined, which is huge because you can save yourself prep time. Next up, we usually get some steaks and kind of mix them in within two to three days after buying them. A package of 10 club-sized chicken breasts here. 10 chicken breasts, $29. Thank you, Costco. Last thing we got here is a full filet of salmon, and it usually makes about eight portions for the two of us. It is twenty-seven dollars for those eight portions? Greek yogurt. Put it in our smoothies. Have it with a little bit of honey and some nuts and stuff. Very high in protein. Good for you. Then we got our veggies in the middle. We eat a ton, a ton of veggies. That at least a third, maybe half of my meal should always be this. These are a couple of our containers that we put our veggies in. Bree's gonna talk to you more about those. Eggs, this is a huge Costco buy. At the grocery store, a pack of eggs is like four or five dollars sometimes for the 18 packs. These are, I think, $4.99 or $5.99, you get 30. A really good way to save money. And then we have quinoa, which is our staple. It is a grain that is very high in protein and that's why we like it. We're gonna show you how to make some of this, not all of it, and that's kind of covering the basics. All right, sweet potatoes, the thing that I forgot to talk about, we eat a lot of sweet potatoes. I just cut the ugly ends off both, cut them right down the middle, again, and one more time down the middle to make quarters. All right, so we cut our potatoes, they're all in a pan, they're quartered, the oven's already at 400. Avocado oil, and then just very simple, salt, pepper, throw them in the oven. Now I'm gonna cut and wash all the vegetables and prep them into containers because they keep better that way. Andrew came up with this cool idea to put the Brussels sprouts in the blender instead of just baking them. Pulse it. Here's all our vegetables that are portioned into containers. Brussels sprouts, there's Cooper. Hi Cooper, want broccoli? Sit pretty. Okay, you suck. Cauliflower, green beans, carrots. I cut cucumbers just because I like to have them ready for snacks. We're gonna put all the vegetables into this container. On top of the vegetables, we're also gonna put the quinoa into these containers as well. We like to think that a portion of carbs is roughly the same size as the inside of your hand. All right, typically I start with chicken or the salmon because they take a while in the oven. Shrimp take a very short amount of time if they're thawed, so I save those for last. Open them, rinse them all off. While that's happening, I'm gonna heat up my pan slowly. That's a huge tip. Don't turn your pan right to eight or nine. Then I'm gonna get the, the shrimp in the pan. I'm also gonna show you a little seasoning that I like to make. So what I like to do is pre-mix my seasonings into like a bulk portion. I put in a little bit of salt and pepper, of course. This is a salt-free barbecued chicken seasoning, powdered onion, roasted garlic and red pepper, and then a little more garlic plus because you can never have enough garlic. I'm gonna mix those up, and then once that's done, shrimp will go in, and I'm gonna add that to the pan as well. We got the shrimps underway here. 
Once they get nice and hot, you can just take the lid off and let them simmer. Which potatoes are finally done. You go until they're basically like can break in your fingers. What we're gonna do here is one smooth action. And we're gonna take all these potatoes out of here and I'm gonna put them into this rubber bowl that I have. And then I've got my old potato masher. I'm just gonna mash these potatoes with the skins and everything. They're delicious. It's pretty. All right, we're gonna start uh, portioning off some of the shrimps. I've read the nutrition facts, but 12 shrimps is like 24 grams of protein. So this is what our food looks like for the next few days. We obviously have a lot of our vegetables, our quinoa is in there, and then our protein, which in this case is shrimp. Our sweet potato is cooling still. And our fridge is now fully stocked and organized with all of our vegetables, as you can see. We're good. So should we have fun? Sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you have any other recommendations, drop them in the comments. Thanks for coming. <laughs>